All right, my friends, let's look at some stunning polling numbers. Donald Trump's favorite pollster, Rasmussen, is a right wing friendly pollster, has a new poll out where Donald Trump is down by 12 points to Joseph R. Biden Jr. When other polls don't look good for Trump, Trump often says, look at Rasmussen. Rasmussen does good polling. Well, here is Rasmussen's latest poll with RMG Research saying Trump is down 12 to Biden, 48 to 36, with 9 percent not sure and 6 percent supporting some other candidate. Now, important to understand that there are 15 percent here that are either for some third party candidate or aren't sure yet. If they mostly consolidate around Trump in November, that can get Trump close enough where even he, he could lose the popular vote by a few points, but still win the Electoral College. We saw that in 2016. But the reason that this poll matters is that last week when CNN said, hey, we have a poll done with SSRS, reliable, reputable pollster, says Trump is down 14. Trump uh, said it was fake had his lawyer send a cease and desist letter to CNN, demanded an apology and demanded a retraction. We now have a traditionally right wing pollster saying, well, it's not a 14 point lead for Biden, but it's a 12 point lead for Biden. And in addition, we have an abacus data or data poll from yesterday, which also has this as a 14 point lead for Joe Biden. So what is our takeaway? The takeaway is nothing. Every single one of you, of us, me, you, everybody, Every one of us has to vote no matter what any poll says, because Donald Trump is desperate and he will do anything he can to get reelected. They are going to try to suppress the vote. They are going to try to come up with some October surprise. We talked earlier in the show about maybe some emergency use vaccine. We can assume nothing. If in your state Biden is polling ahead by 30 points, what do you do? You go and vote because we can't take a chance. Now, let's look at some stunning state polls in the meantime. An admittedly left leaning PPP poll has Biden plus 14 in New Mexico. Uh, an epic MRA poll has Biden plus 16 in Michigan. Now, remember, none of this changes anything about what we have to do, but understand how 2016 went. And then if you look at 2016, where Donald Trump won Michigan by 0.2 percent, 0.2 percent. If Trump goes from winning Michigan by 0.2 percent to losing it by 16 or even 12 or even eight or even five, that signals a massive change from the 2016 election, because it probably means a bunch of states aren't going to go Donald Trump's way. Another important state to look at is Iowa. Donald Trump won Iowa by 10 in 2016. The latest poll from the Des Moines Register, good pollster, has Trump up only one. Trump won by 10 in Iowa in 2016. Currently, Trump is winning by one in Iowa. We have 50 individual elections. When we do a presidential election, it is a national choice, but they are 50 individual elections. They're correlated, though. If Trump's margin of victory in Iowa goes from 10 to 1, it's a signal about other states. But again, third time I'm saying this and you're going to hear this from me a lot. Our mission, our mission, our assignment individually is we vote no matter what state we're in. We vote no matter what the polls say. If in mid October the stock market spikes and Trump claims he got us a vaccine, it could push him to victory. And then we have four more years of Trump, Trump selecting Supreme Court justices, Trump putting in more uh, federal and appeals court judges. So we need to be prepared for something in October. We need to be ready to deal with it, meaning every single person must plan to vote. Now, I want to focus in a little more specifically on Arkansas. If you are anything like me, you probably aren't thrilled with the idea of going into a doctor's office right now. And thankfully, there is a practical and affordable way to take control of your health and get personalized care from the comfort of your home. It's a service called Steady MD. They're one of our sponsors. You take a quiz, you get matched with a licensed primary care physician who understands your health needs. You have a one hour video call with your new doctor. You establish a meaningful relationship with them. And after that, 
Your doctor is available to you anytime by text, phone or video chat. This is not a random doctor on call. Each doctor at Steady MD has a limited number of patients, so they actually have time to listen to you. You get the personal attention that you deserve. They can do almost everything an in-person doctor can do, perform medical evaluations, talk to you about health concerns, send prescriptions to your home or local pharmacy and anything they can't do online. They'll quickly set you up with an in-person provider to do things like blood tests. As an example, you don't need insurance. It's only 99 bucks a month with no other fees or copays. There are so many practical advantages to using steady MD for primary care. And it's also so much more affordable. Go to steadymd.com slash Pacman to take the free quiz. See which doctor is right for you. I took their quiz. They matched me with a doctor who specializes in my particular health needs and situation. The doctor they gave me is a really perfect fit for me and my medical needs. There's no risk, no commitment to get started. Just click the link right underneath this video.